only if we went like this and we can see that. The to the average eye, every pelt is perfect. But after training under a master furrier, these traditional artists will never see the humble fabric the same way again. We're putting something to the length, we're creating what? Darkness. Exactly. Alyssa Landry is learning to catalog furs based on shine, light, color, and more. I didn't know seal skin had different kind of shines, and it, like, it literally has no under fur, so you can see the different colors when you lay them out. I, I, I see all the value in what you're doing and what you're telling us, but I'm, I'm not seeing why that's better than how we were taught. Marrying traditional knowledge with technique and technology in six days isn't an easy feat. I re completely respect the way I was taught. And now my, you could say my sewing expanded to the other part because it's going to be more garment quality. If you want to expand, you have to learn how to do the coloration. 18 students from across the Northwest Territories are here in Yellowknife's Makerspace. The fur workshop is sponsored by the Territorial Department of Industry, Investment and Tourism. But now using a fur machine takes it up a level. Um, patterning changes the way that they can consistently make a product. It's still all done by hand. It's not mass produced, it's slow fashion, but it is enabling them to maybe do a little bit more. Slowly. It's the first time most have used a furrier machine, streamlining what would have taken hours into minutes. For Bambi Amos, it's also an opportunity in training the trainer about fur. With the furrier machine being donated to the town of Inuvik, she's planning to hold similar workshops for other artists. And what I've learned is that every fur, every pelt should be stretched using the whole pelt. So that means stretching it, repairing it. You better find the skins that they boom. They work together. Master furrier and instructor Panos Panokotitis says while European markets use farmed fur governed by rules and guidelines, the more indigenous artists share their histories in furs, the more the general public will understand the sustainability of indigenous furs. If you want to change the way that people understand fur in the fur industry or what you refer creation you need to give them all the information they need to have the truth the truth is yes i go trapping because my father or my grandfather did it right and there's a lot of people here in canada north america actually they still go trapping so what we're going to do is cut this and make it longer to fit all down here Camelia Gray says it's been empowering learning how to repair pelts and efficiently block to save on material. And when she leaves here, she knows her time spent choosing and creating with furs isn't a race, but a marathon. We have to take our time. Don't push yourself. You know, give yourself time to look at the pattern, find out the colors from shine into darkness. You know, it's just so interesting. If I'm going to this Charlotte Moore Jacobs, ABTN National News, nice Yellowknife.